This is Bratch Island. Hey there, good morning. My first time uh, shaving in a long time. Feels nice. So I'm here in the little village of Milna. I took the ferry from Korchula Island yesterday and stayed here last night at a uh, guest house hotel thing uh, up there with some really nice uh, ladies. I mean, they were the managers of the place who were from Slovenia, interestingly. And I'm now walking down into the town. If I can uh, find my way there, I think this is right. And I have a place reserved for two nights in Bol. And it looks like Bol is kind of a ultimate beach, uh, you know, destination. One of the main beaches on the island. Looks really nice. Probably gonna be really touristy. This is a more uh, relaxed scene here, like kind of classic village life. So I need to get over to Bol somehow. And I thought I would just rent a car here for a few days and then drive there and stay there and then continue driving to the uh, next town that I'll go after that. But it turns out there might not be a rental car available here. That's what the ladies were saying. It's just such a uh, small town and people rent cars from the other places and drive around the island and then stop here for the day. But it's not a touristy spot here. So. There's the possibility of a taxi, but that is going to be expensive. If that's all I can do, then that's probably what I'll do. I was thinking about hitchhiking, but uh, it is a hot, hot day, and I don't really want to spend my day in the middle of the afternoon standing on the side of the road here. I think it's going to be worth just paying for the taxi if that's all I can find. So anyways, uh, going to uh, just kind of check out the uh, town and the general situation, see what's possible, and... If I can't find a rental car or any kind of a bus or shuttle or anything like that, then catch a taxi. Here we go. Milna. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Is there any boat to Bowl Beach? Bowl Beach. We have like, um, and how many of you? We have like only me. Uh, we have like a water taxi. How much is that? Uh, about two hundred fifty euros. Ah, I see, because it's, like yes, it's, like yes, it's like a private... It's like a private... It's like a private boat, and it's like uh, for 12 people, and... I see, there's no one already no. with other people or no. something like that. No. Do you know of any other way to get to Bol? Uh, only to take a taxi. Just a normal taxi? Normal taxi. Do you know, is there any rental car in? Yes. Oh, there is rental I car? Have, I have a number if you want. I would like to uh, rent here and then drop in uh okay i will call now okay. and you will uh, just a second cool hello do you have any rental car today no no okay thank you yeah so that's what the other lady said was that there was a car to be rented tomorrow but not today so everything is just booked up today so going to uh, check the uh, taxi situation and the taxis are near the bus station. So I'm going to find out about the bus and see if there might be a bus going, even if it doesn't go 
straight to Bull, then if it went like to the junction, a bus going to the other side of the island, and then there's a junction going down to where I'm trying to go to, then uh, maybe I could take the bus there and then hitchhike from there and it would be a shorter distance. So let's find out. I could just try hitchhiking from here, it's worth a shot. And so, Bowl, 41 kilometers, there. And here's a map of the island, so show where I'm at. Milna is over here on the left. And Bowl is here. And so the road goes like this. And then I want to get over here eventually and take the uh, ferry to the mainland from there. Mainland of Croatia. There's a lot more to see of the island, so of course that is the advantage of the rental car is to be able to stop along the way. Let's uh, give the hitching a try. And so it looks like the next bus leaving Milna here is at 1.10 in the afternoon. And right now it is about quarter to 11, and so that's more than two hours away. So see what happens here. It's a possibility, but uh, I think I want to get moving before then. So I guess you're certainly old enough to remember the Yugoslav oh, area. Oh, well, let me, oh, actually, I live in Yugoslavia. Oh, in, in other parts outside of uh, Croatia? I, I graduated in Yugoslavia. Yeah. yeah. Started my career in Yugoslavia. So. I see, yeah. I graduated, I graduated in 81. I see. And then, and then of course, I worked in Yugoslavia for nine years. Actually, I, I, I went to the UK as a Yugoslavian citizen and then came back as a Croatian citizen. Oh, I see. While, while I was there. Yeah. Yeah. And have have the changes been quite uh, pronounced as far as the development and everything? I mean, it's right. I mean, I'm, I went. Well, we lived in communism, and I, I mean, that's a kind of probably heretic statement to say, but communism has some certain good things uh -huh. for, for regular people because it was an absolute uncertainty for the for the for the, for the job. Yeah. And okay, so kind of not not. The, Actually, smaller but safer. Yeah. Everything was a kind of yeah, less. And now is a kind of less you know, developed. Now, now is now is. I mean, in America, you, you, you are more with competition. As, as competitive, have to be competitive to, to live. But in uh, in Yugoslavia, it was was different. I believe that quite much, quite many of common people, yeah, now don't do very well. So this is Bowl. That worked out. That was really lucky. The guy dropped me right at my guest house where uh, the room wasn't quite ready yet. So left my uh, baggage there and now trying to get down to the like center of town and the uh, beach. There's an amazing beach here, like one of the best beaches in Croatia, I guess. So uh, let's go check it out and jump in that uh, Adriatic water there. Love these old style stone buildings and little lanes and things. So much character and looks like I'm basically in the uh, middle of things now. Sort of, anyways. I'm not sure if it gets like more kind of built up with more shops and stuff. I think it must be somewhere. I think the uh, main beach is this way. So. Hard to see the picture there, but Zlatni Rat, Brach Island, a silvery tongue of shingle extending into a turquoise sea, Zlatni Rat, Golden Cape, is very much the poster boy of Dalmatian beaches. 
The Pebbly Peninsula remains a compelling destination despite the crowds. Indeed, its clear, shallow seas and gripping maritime views make it a difficult spot to leave. Number seven. This is a list of the best beaches in all of Croatia, and so that one is number seven. However, it turns out that uh, it is a two and a half kilometer walk down that way. And so, especially in this heat, it is a hot, hot day today, then I'm not sure if I'm going to want to walk the whole way, but uh, here we got a good spot to take a swim and cool off. So I'm going to uh, walk along a little bit and uh, jump in the water and then see if there might be some other options for uh, getting there. Like a bicycle taxi would be ultimate along this walkway and bike path or something. We'll see. And I saw this mural and had to come over and take a closer look. Kind of, uh, falling apart here. A playground. And there's a nice little pebbly beach right there, so I'm going to stop right now, take a swim, and then keep on going that way. I'm here for the next two nights, and we'll see maybe more. This is a sweet, sweet spot. Feeling much better here after a swim and then having the uh, sarong wet and the tank top wet and the hat wet. Feeling uh, much cooler. I'm going to just start walking this way and see how far I get. And check out this really pretty little bay here. Amazing. Never heard of this town until like two days ago when I was looking at where to stay in Bratch and everything was really expensive. More expensive than uh, the other islands of Hovar and Korchula. Everything was like 80 bucks and up for a night and then I found this place for $41 and it was in Bowl and so I just, you know, looked at pictures of Bowl and it looked nice so here I am. And so I thought that I would talk about the uh, ride with the guy there. So before I started the hitchhiking, I was thinking about, well, is this a smart thing to do, considering the virus and everything, to be hitchhiking? And when I thought about it, if I was going to have to take a taxi, then same situation, basically, if you're sitting there in a car with someone. So I thought, well, I'll just wear a mask and sit in the back seat. And then I started hitchhiking and the guy pulled over after like five minutes. Wow, look at this. Military tunnel. Laka. Gotta check that out. And so the guy pulled over and I said, oh, I'll sit in the back. But there was no back seat and he was like, ah, no worries, just sit in the front here. So there we go. Zlatny Rat to the beach. Oh, okay, so you can get a uh, boat here. Tax Hello, taxi to Zlatny Rats? Yes. This one? Yes. Excellent. Uh, how much is it? 20 kuna per person. Oh, okay, cool.
<laughs> this is what you call a zoo. All right, I was not quite prepared for these kinds of insane crowds. I'm not going to stay here for long. Just going to take a look and then find somewhere more people. This is definitely the most touristy scene that I've seen so far here in Croatia. Totally not into this. So I'm just gonna start walking back. There's a uh, walking path through the trees, fortunately, and find another spot to swim that's away from this insanity. There it is, Slotny Rat Beach. The Golden Horn. I'm sure it's nice early in the morning. And it looks like this is the end of the tree tunnel up ahead, but uh, that was awesome. That made a big difference walking all that way through the shade. Still looking for another spot to take a swim. And so I took a swim there for a bit at another beach down here. And I'm now going to uh, head back to the room and get out of the sun for a little while. 1903, I guess that's when this uh, building was built, maybe? I'm not sure what it is. It's a wine cellar. Yeah, Wow. All right, this is a wine cellar. And look what I just found. This is about the last thing I would have expected to see today. A parking garage that is like a tribute to Elvis. Oh my god. Um. 
and the entire place here is covered in these etchings or whatever. How cool is that? And a super quick room tour. $41 a night, not bad. And so this is called Chobab Chichi, something like that. It is a classic dish of this region and some uh, grilled vegetables and onions in a sauce there. Looks good, this is about uh, 130 Croatian kuna, and that is more than 20 bucks. And some water. The uh, main part of the restaurant is down there, a nice uh, spot here with the view of the sea. And I'm starving. I know that people like to hear descriptions of the food, but uh, oftentimes I just want to put the camera away and enjoy my meal without having to explain and describe it. So I'm just going to eat this. I'm sure that it's going to be good. They're kind of like sausages of some sort. I had them once before when I was in Croatia three years ago, so... More coming from Ratch Island. See ya.